Hello, Isla. It has been over a week since I had a lesson with you, and I thought it was time to go over some things. So hopefully that is good for you, too. You can play this back as much as you want. Um, just because we can't go out and be with people in person doesn't mean we can't do this. So my hair's a little messy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to do was go over the things we did about a week ago. And one of those things was, of course, the scale, but a D throw, okay? Um, and so you may remember that when um, I was asking you to do the D throw, your pointer finger on the bottom hand, on your right hand, the pointer finger, it was not stretching up far enough to meet this hole here. It was trying to kind of be below it, okay? And when that happens, the hole doesn't get completely covered. So I asked you to stretch it up. And then remember we practiced it like on the table where you put your hand on the table and try and stretch your fingers. It's kind of like that, but on the channer. So hopefully you've been doing that. If you haven't been, start doing that. And um, so let's go ahead and um, do some D throws together. You had picked the hardest note of the chanter to start your D throws from. High A, but that's okay. So let's do that first, okay? I'm going to demonstrate some in a row. So I'm going to start on high A. My low hand is in place. Everything's where it should be. I'd like you to do those with me. Why don't you pause the video if you need to, get your fingers ready, and let's do them together. Okay, fingers should be in place in the high A position. Let's do three D throws from high A together, nice and slow. Here's, here we go. Again. Last one. Okay, I'd like you to play back that or pause the video and do that a bunch on your own. Make sure that D finger is stretched up so it's covering your hole. All right, great. Another thing that we worked on was just a D throw from low A, which is a lot easier than doing it from high A, <laughs> okay? So from low A, you're in the low A position, right? Go ahead and get in that. Pause the video if you need time. Get ready. And we're gonna do three D throws from low A. Ready? Back to low A. Back to low A again. Okay, so I'd like you to take the time now to pause the video and either do those on your own without me or back it up and do those with me. You might not be able to do them as fast as I just did them quite yet without any um, weird sounds, but you may, you might. And if you can, that's awesome. And then if you can, let me know and I will make you another recording of them being played faster. So that's what I want you to work on. Um, once you get those done pretty good, let me know. Ask your mom to send me a message and we'll do some more stuff together with the throws. All right. Um, another thing that you were working on was the scale, which you had really done a nice job on. Um, and the scale is, of course, let's do it together. Let's start on high A together, okay? Here we go. We're going to go all the way from high A down to low G. And I'm going to warn you, your low G finger, right? If you're playing too far on your fingertips on the bottom hand, you're not going to be, be able to reach that hole. So get your fingers in a position now where you actually can cover that G hole. It's going to be tricky, I know, but you can do it. Just play further up on your fingers. Take a moment, get your fingers ready, right? Don't have them like, like this where the pinky can't reach. Have them up this way. And then let's get to high, we'll start on high A. So pause the video and get ready. Okay, now that you're ready to do a scale from high A to low A, or to low G, let's start.
Were you able to get a clean low A, uh, low a or low G? If not, maybe your D finger wasn't stretched up high enough to cover the D hole. So what I want you to do is do that again a bunch of times in a row. You don't have to do it with my recording if you don't want to. Where you start with your G fingers, at the, your low hand fingers ready, choked up far enough, played far enough in so your pinky can cover, and take it slowly and go down. And if that D finger starts to move away from the hole, stretch it back up, okay? Take some time to do that, at least three scales in a row. Okay, the last thing that we played around with when I saw you back on Friday, March 13th, was we tried Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is really fun. Now, I know that your mom knows this tune on the practice chanter, and I know you know how the tune goes. So does your dad. Okay, probably your brother too. Uh, <clears throat> but what I want to do is let's try it together on the practice channel. All right, so Mary had a little and starts on C. All right, at least the way I'm doing it. And it goes like this. And notice we're trying to get some triplets in there. G, D, E triplets on some of these notes. So pay attention. Here we go. That was pretty fast, but I would like you to try it, the first part with me. So get your fingers in the C position, ready to go. Pause the video if you need to do that. And here we go. We're going to go C, B, A. Ready? One, two. That's the beginning. After that, we go. Um, So did you see that it was C, B, A, B, G, D, E triplet on C? Let's try that whole package there from the beginning. Once you get that down and you're on C after the triplet, we're going to do a triplet on B. But we're starting on C. So here we are on C and we go... That's the triplet on B, okay? And then we go, that's an E with a strike. So let's go from the beginning up to that E strike. Ready? Starting on C. Ready? One, two. Have fun with that, and then the next time we'll work on the rest of the tune. You might even figure it out on your own. Happy chantering!